Now this is a typical example where we're given f dash of x or f prime of x and we've got to work back and find out what f of x was. So in this example we've got the curve with equation y equals f of x passes through the point minus 1, 0 and we're given that f dash x or f prime x equals 12x squared minus 8x plus 1 and we've got to find f of x. So how do we do this? Well, what we can say is something like now y, which equals f of x, okay, is given by the integral of f dash x with respect to x. Okay? So that means that we've got to integrate 12x squared minus 8x plus 1 with respect to x. So we've got 12x squared minus 8x plus 1. Put all of this in brackets, okay? Don't forget those brackets and integrate all of that with respect to x. Now in the usual way, when we integrate terms like this, all we need to do is just add 1 to the power of x and then divide by the new power. So we've got 12 x to the power 3, we add 1 to the power, and we now divide by the new power. And when we go on to minus 8x, we add 1 to the power of x, so it's x to the power 2, and divide by 2. And when you have to integrate a constant, you just multiply it with an x. So here we have 1 then times x, or just simply x. And what we mustn't forget is a constant of integration. It can be any letter you like, as long as it's obviously not x. Common letters tend to be C and K, but it's up to you. Now what we can do is just tidy this up because 3 will go cleanly into 12 four times and 2 will go cleanly into 8 four times. So what we have then is that this is equal to 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus the x and then plus the constant of integration plus c. Now we've got to work out what that constant of integration is and to do that we need some condition that we know is true and it's this point here. We know that the curve passes through the point minus 1, 0 so that means that it must lie on the curve and therefore it satisfies this equation. So we can say that when x is minus 1 y is 0. So let's just say that, that when x equals minus 1, y equals 0. So therefore, what does this mean? Well, we know that y equals this, so therefore we have y equaling 0 equals, and we just substitute minus 1 into here. So we've got 4 times minus 1 all cubed, minus 4 times minus 1 all squared, plus minus 1, and then plus the constant of integration c. So if we work this out, we've got minus 1 cubed is minus 1, times it with the 4, that's going to be minus 4. Minus 1 squared is 1, times it with minus 4, it's going to be minus 4. And then plus minus 1, so that's minus 1, and then plus c. So we've got minus 9 here plus c. So if I add 9 to both sides, I'm going to get 9 equals c. Or c equals 9. Makes no difference which way around we have it. But I can just substitute this now into this equation here. And therefore, we've got what y equals, which is f of x. And that will equal 4x cubed minus 4x squared plus x and then plus the constant of integration plus 9. And there you have it, f of x then.